Hello everyone, Drivenheart here, and welcome back to Flunkstar. So it's uh, it's been a while, well, it's been a little bit of time at least since my last episode here. Um, as you can see, we kind of have a house built now. Um, yeah, so we'll go take a little tour here quick. And try to get you caught up to speed as to what's going on. As I left you in the last episode, we had we had my little temporary cobble cobble house thingy right here. That is no more. We have a mailbox and a sign Casa de Driven Heart. And here we go. Ta da! So currently growing some uh, some sugar cane here got lots of open room we plan on doing something along here along this fence here soon um, we have horses and a little derpy makeshift horsey stable yeah uh, I got this little beauty right here from Fluent Chaos. He uh, gave this horse to me as a gift shortly after I joined the server. And then this little brown horsey I got from uh, Quigs. And he, he stopped by one day and dropped him off for me as a gift. And then this guy right here with the armor and the saddle he showed up one day and Fluent Cast dropped him off and thought he was mine, but he's not mine. So if somebody is uh, missing a horse with iron horse armor and a saddle, you may feel free to come get him at my stable anytime. Otherwise, if he is not claimed, I will be sure to give him a good home here. So, yeah. Those are my, uh, my horsies. And I'm thinking of, um, eventually putting some hay bales in here. So it looks a little more stable-like, I guess. Um, yeah. So we got a little pumpkin farm. We got some melons. Get in here. I don't have a door yet. I just keep blacking it up with dirt at night. Uh, furnaces at the moment, a couple junk chests, and I plan on, plan on doing more with this here eventually, but we got a basement level, and then another basement level which I've been, uh, working on, and this is going to be more of a storage than anything else, so I kind of started doing some stuff with that here. So I try to stay a little bit more organized. Yeah, and I haven't had to go into the Nether yet for uh, for glowstone. So been uh, visiting the villager mart and making trades to get glowstone. But I know eventually I will have to go in there and I will have to get some resources. I am like running low on most everything except well I say I got a decent amount of cobble but I'm running low on pretty much everything else like I have no diamonds to my name none and I was uh gonna make a branch mine you see and I had dug down to like level 11 and there was already a branch mine underneath my house so I kinda dug this back up, or hold it back up, and then made a little way here. This is going to be home to my eventual nether, personal nether portal. So, we have that there. Head back up this way.
And then this way, I've dug out and I was thinking of making about maybe a room or two off the side here. And then made my way to uh, to the edge of the ravine where I plan on uh, making a safe way down into the ravine here. Because there's, there's still some good resources to be had and it's been uh, dubbed and nicknamed my ravine. <laughs> so yeah that's all that's happening here at the spawn house. Pretty much. But I feel like we need some chickens in the house. So, grab some stuff here. And let's try to do a little bit of building here today since I really haven't built all that much on camera. Grab that. Maybe grab that. Um, yeah, I'll grab that and that. That was good. Or no, that was X-Fire. Okay. Grab some of that. So let's get to work here. Oh! Got my buckets. And I need those. What I'm thinking here today what we might end up doing is building a little, uh... Little, uh... Place for some chickens so they can start, uh... Laying eggs. So we have eggs to make pumpkin pie. And pumpkin pie is, is good food. So let's get started here. Some of this down. Make a workbench. We'll just plop it right there for now. So I'm thinking. Keep that there. Move that. Get that. That. There. That is good. Yeah. I think you can build a, a place for the chickens to stay, but at the same time I'm going to make their eggs uh, go into a chest so I can just collect the eggs whenever. Because that's just easy and convenient. That there. That there. I suppose we should go do a little sleepy sleep. That way I'm not working out here in the dark. And for the record, I am the only one on at the moment, so I can go to sleepy sleep and make a game.
Do, 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 do. So I'm thinking with any, uh, I'm thinking about making some short term and long term goals to have while playing. So I feel like I'm accomplishing. I feel like I'm accomplishing something and whatnot. That way I'm not trying to tackle and take on everything at once. I think taking too much on at once is kind of a bad thing here. I'll make that. I think I like that all that much. I think we need to take it out. One more? Two more. Yeah. Need to raise this and take it out. But I know my, my long term goal when we are able to to move off the continent here, I would like to go do some ocean traveling and exploring and make my find and make my more uh my more permanent base. And if you if you know me and then you know uh you know what my favorite kind of biome is so my my main main eventual goal is to find a mushroom biome to settle down on here settle down and call it home okay one two three four five six i think Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Yeah. That looks a lot better. Take that. Plop that there. Excuse me. Yeah. This, this is going to work out a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I want to find a mushroom biome. Uh, I really need to get some resources, so I need to figure out whether or not to go caving right away again, because last time I went caving, uh, I died horribly, and I was caving out past tank punks, where, um, 
where I believe Cubed Killer is now uh, building his base. And I was in the caves and I had everything lit up to the best of my ability and got blown up by a creeper and tried to get back to my stuff and zombies kept uh kept coming and eventually killed me again and then I'm like mm, I'm not gonna do this no more. So I kinda took a break from caving for a while. Took a nice little break from that. Maybe I'll give it another shot again. Be nice if I had a little caving buddy on here. Go exploring and caving with. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe... Maybe do what the, the guys are doing and... Try to, uh... Get a... Small branch mine set up somewhere outside of spawn and try to get some quick resource to resources to get me uh, better established here so I can be more prepared for caving because I know I really want to be prepared for uh, when we do decide to kill the ender dragon because I really want to be there for that. So yeah, there's really not too much else to uh, talk about here, so I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm, I'm not dead, I'm, I'm still here, just videos might come at a little, little slower pace compared to other people, but that's okay. But I think I'm gonna finish building this up here and probably call it a night here myself so uh, until next time everyone this is Draven Heart and catch you later and bye bye